G'day guys, Rich from Unichip Australia. What we got here is a 2018 Ford Raptor. It's the new two litre bi-turbo setup. Basically we got one in so that we could do the R&D to develop a Unichip, tuning software, etc. for it. Set up a, a good map. One of the highlights about this Raptor is it's fitted with our new Unichip X. It's our flagship uh, Unichip now. Uh, basically the biggest feature about it is it is full IP6 rated. So it's completely waterproof, dustproof, shockproof. I'm going to get more into that in a video directly about this next year. But for now, I thought I'd talk you through the Raptor. Obviously, like I said before, it is a smaller engine combination than the Ranger, but it's come up really well. Started off with a baseline of about 400 Newton meters, approximately 120 kilowatts of power with a uni chip. So we've taken control of all the, the standard sensors that we normally would. It's come up really well. We've picked up 120 Newton meters and close to 25, Newton meter, 25 kilowatts of power. So it should be a good thing. So we've got the brand new Ford Raptor 2 litre turbo diesel here. We've just fitted our brand new Uni X to it. It's come up 100 Newton metres of torque and I think it was about 25 kilowatts. It has really shot it to a different level. Going out of our Ranger, which you know I've driven countless amounts of times, so it's a 2017 Ford Ranger and then jumping into this Raptor, uh, it's completely different. And as far as the power delivery is concerned, um, yeah, I mean, it's on a whole nother level. Obviously, I'm talking about with our Uni X. Yeah, so as I said before, um, jumping straight out of our 3.2 litre Ranger and then jumping into this, it is a completely different, um, it feels like Ford have come up and done, made a completely different car. I mean, essentially they sort of have. But the first thing you immediately notice is just that automatic transmission, the way it just, you just hear it shifting now. The way it just shifts through the gears, it's so smooth, so controlled, it knows what gear it needs to be in with every press of the throttle pedal. And the power is instantly just there. Like we just rolled easily up to 60 kilometers an hour. The amount of phone calls I get every day with people with ranges, the 3.2s, complaining about auto trans, it's, um, it's something that Ford really need to credit to themselves because they have done such a good thing with this Raptor. I've been a bit of a punch as we pull out onto the road here because I don't want to speed. And we'll just see how it goes accelerating from a zero start because it is completely different uh, feel to the way this Raptor comes out from stock. straight through the gears, no excessive strain, pulls that power and it just keeps on pulling. It's, um, it, yeah, to say it's impressive is an understatement. So we just pulled out from braking. Another thing that you notice as well is just how effortless it is when you do brake because of the way this suspension setup is in the Ford Raptor. They've spent the money and they've done it right. It's, it sits on the road, it does feel firm, but it's not uncomfortable. It's not like you need to sit here wearing a kidney belt. You can drive it, you could drive it, you could sit in it and you could basically drive it to Brisbane in a day and you'd still be just as comfortable sitting in these seats as what you were when you first got into the car. And just because we do have all of that extra power and that torque, so like I was saying before, 100 Newton meters more torque in the bottom part of the rev rate doesn't mean we need to use it. It doesn't turn it into some form of a race car or anything like that. It just makes your whole driving experience that little bit more pleasurable because you can take off with the confidence that you need. So you can pull out in front of traffic, you can take off from the lights. Uh, we don't have a load on the back at the moment but if we did have a load on the back I could confidently pull out at an intersection and know that I'll be able to maintain the, the speed. It's um, It really is a really good car. Um, if I was going to move on my Amrock, I'd be inclined to buy one of these things. I just wanted to do this thing one more time. So we're sitting on um, 40 kilometers an hour, and I just want to ex uh, basically accelerate from a, a rolling start. So this is it. Depress the ladle, off we go. It's um, it's just the power is there. It's it's so good. Um, I mean, it was good before so what we got delivered by Ford but now it is just that next level um, 
I would highly recommend anyone to buy these Raptors. Definitely give us a call and we can run through all the ins and outs of what we can do with the Uni-X and the Ford, uh, Ford Raptor. Thanks guys.